this is Jim uh, coming to you live today from Miami, Florida, where we're about to put prop armor on this 48 meter mega yacht. It's interesting to note that this owner has been entrusting his propeller protection to prop armor for the last two seasons. He's had re excellent results, and today we're going to do a little demonstration on how to apply the product to these uh, rather large props. Now, before you get started, it's very important that you have all of the key elements that you need to be ready to put it on. First thing you want to do is take 80 grit sandpaper and you want to sand the props and the shafts down with the 80 grit sandpaper really well. Once you're finished with that, then you want to make sure that you wipe the props down really well with acetone cleaner to get any residue off the props. That's going to ensure that we have good adhesion. And then finally what we're going to do, what we have behind us here, is our heat gun. We're going to heat the props up. We don't want them you know, yep. super hot, but we want them burnt to the touch before we put the prop armor on the prop. And we'll be liquefying the prop today using the, the best uh, method to put it on, which is liquefying it. Generally you can put it in a microwave oven, heat it up for two or three minutes till it becomes a liquid, and then after the prop is heated, we'll be applying it with a brush. It's also uh, can be heated by placing it in a tub of hot water, boiling water, to get it to liquefy, but you can right. use either the water method or the microwave method. Yeah. So we're going to take a brief pause here and get yeah. our sandpaper Just ready to case. sand, and we'll do a quick demonstration with that, and then we'll move on. All right, we're back live again, and we're about to sand our prop. Just for, uh, for uh, what we have here, we've already actually prepared this prop, but I'm just going to give a brief demonstration on what we're looking for when you uh, prepare the prop to get it ready. Just take your 80 grit sandpaper, start working it into the prop until you get a nice rough key finish. As I said earlier, that's going to ensure that we have good adhesion of the product when we finally put it on. All right, once you've sanded the prop, you can uh, go ahead and move back to your shaft. You want to key that with the 80 grit. All right, assuming that we've got everything sanded as we do now, you want to take your acetone cleaner with a nice clean rag start to wipe down the surface. As you can see, it ends up picking up all the residue and cleaning the surface. So you want to make sure that you get it really clean. It doesn't hurt to wipe it, you know, two or three times to make sure that you've got everything. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes and uh, we'll be putting the product onto the propeller. Back here and we have uh, sanded the props down. We have uh, wiped them down with acetone and now we're ready for the key installation of the prop armor. And as you can see, we've microwaved it to a liquid. So I have the prop armor, I have the tooth or the I have the brush, and I have my able assistant Steve who's gonna be heating the prop as I go along applying the product. So just kind of watch what we're doing. It's very easy. Don't don't worry if you spill a little bit on the ground. It's it's, it's not a big issue. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start uh, start the application. Go ahead. Steve. kind of brush it out evenly. What's actually happening with the heating of the propeller is it opens up the pores in the metal, which prop armor is then readily absorbed into the pores of the metal, which is going to give you your long-term protection. like to do is we 
have actually uh, two coats on this prop now. What happens after you put the first coat on, you can kind of see it, the prop armor starts to get thicker. What you want to do as it thickens, you'll have your first coat on. You just come along and you brush on your second coat. You can see it goes on nice and easy. The nice thing about the blue color is it's very easy to see if you've missed any areas. And you want to make sure that you go over the prop. Just make sure that you've hit every area. This is what the finished product looks like. like a really shitty thing. And this propeller will be uh, good to go for roughly uh, 9 to 12 months. So uh, we'll be back in a few minutes to show you how to do your sea strainers. One area where prop armor really works well is on sea strainers and if you go to the website www.proparmor.com you'll see that we actually have a live video of prop armor in action on a sea strainer. So we have some prop armor left over from our application today. We're going to apply it to this sea strainer. The sea strainer will be heated up. light coat. You don't plug the holes. You'll notice as the sea strainer is heated, the stuff goes on very nice. And you will get it in some areas where you get a little bit of clogging in the holes, all you have to do when you're finished, a lot of times you can just kind of poke it with the brush like I'm doing right now, and it clears it out. Or you can just take a thin piece of wire and any areas that you have left, you can poke it through. But generally when you poke it with the brush like this, working it in, it clears out the holes. You don't want to put a really thick coating on the sea strainer like you do on the prop due to the fact you don't want it plugged in the holes. Generally, uh, on a large super yacht like this one, you clean the sea strainers every six to eight weeks. And what generally happens is when you pull it out, you'll still have some growth on it. But when you hit it with a hose, it comes right off. Whereas without the prop armor, generally you have to soak it in an acid etch to get everything to come off. So it cuts the time way down. Most engineers on yachts that I've talked to that are using this absolutely love it. It saves them a lot of time. So you can see how I've applied it. It's, it's kind of hard to see simply because it's a thin coat, but that's all you need. Now we realize that not everybody has a shrink fast heat gun as we do. A small heat gun will work, although it'll take longer. You can also apply prop armor cold. You'll have to buff it in, similar to buffing a car. The only thing is, obviously, you don't want to wipe it off. You just keep buffing it in, and then when you put on your last coat, your second coat, you just want to make sure that it's thick. You don't want to buff too hard. But again, this is the preferred method to apply it. I encourage you to give it a try. I think you'll really like it. Thanks for your time today, and uh, enjoy prop armor. Thank you.